Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be making a uh, screen for sifting or classifying, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to use it for. It's a very simple project. Let's get started. We've got a couple pieces of wood here. I've already got all this pre-measured to the size that I want. This one is going to be 24 by 18. I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple nails in here real quick just to uh, kind of hold this together. For right now. I'm going to sturdy this up a little bit later in the video. You'll see what I'm doing, but this is the basics here. I'm putting the 24s on the ends, the 18s on the inside. Flip this over here. Get this lined up. Again, I'm eyeballing all this, you know, and all of this um, this entire project is being made out of reclaimed material, so that's why you're going to see a bunch of oddball stuff in this video. But let's go ahead and put a couple more nails on this side just to hold this together. And we'll flip her over and finish our little box off. I know this may seem pretty basic for any of you that have any type of even remote woodworking skills or, you know, can basically use a nail gun. So, just kind of going through it though for those who, who may not have familiarity with this type of a project. Again, just putting two nails on the end of each one for now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna secure those a little bit better later on in the video. And there you go. Now again, this is going to be able to be used for screening, sifting dirt, classifying, that type of a thing. Anything you need to, uh, you know, use to get your, get your material down to a smaller level. I'm going to use this hardware cloth and cut it to size here. And it's going to go right here on the bottom like this. Okay, we're getting our hardware cloth cut to size here. Again, I didn't pre-measure this. I just went ahead and, and eyeballed it and then cut it out so that it fit the, the frame that I'm working with. Pretty simple. Just be careful with this. I should be wearing gloves right now so I don't get cut or scraped by this stuff, but I've been doing pretty well so far. So We'll just get this piece cut off here and move on to attaching it to the bottom of the frame. Okay, and now to attach this to the bottom of the frame, I'm just going to go ahead and use a air nailer because it'll be pretty quick. You could use a, you know, any other type of staple gun that you have. Just something that you can use to secure the hardware cloth to the bottom of the frame. Whatever you happen to have is going to work just fine, I'm sure. And let's just put these last couple in here to secure this up. Make sure our corners are all tight. And there you go. That's the basic design. But there's a couple more things I want to do to this before I consider this project complete. Okay, now I'm going to put this additional wood frame on the bottom of the screening box here. I got that all pre-measured. Just to make it a little bit more sturdy and to hold that hardware cloth in there a little bit better. So again with this, we're just going to line these up, all pre-cut, and we're just going to go ahead and run some quick nails in here, preliminary, and then we're going to shore this up here in a couple minutes. But let's move through this. And again, I'm just running some nails in here to hold this in place for right now. Okay, now with all those in place, and that's going to be the basic design right there. I'm going to go ahead and sturdy this up because I tend to be a little obsessive about making sure this isn't going to fall apart. So we're going to go ahead and put some screws in this next. I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill all my screws so that, you know, I don't get any cracking along this frame or anything like that. Let's get this done. And you can see how easy that is. Okay. 
And again, talking about obsessing over a uh, minor project, I'm actually going to countersink all of these screws. Again, that's a personal preference kind of thing. You do what you want. I just want to make sure that these little screws don't get caught on anything, you know, when I'm taking it in and out of the truck, whatever. So, even if it's a simple project, sometimes the little details do make a difference. And a trick that I learned a long time ago, anytime I'm putting screws in any type of wood, I just gonna put a little bit of wood glue on the top of these holes here. And then that way when I run the screws in, the screws will go through the wood glue and the wood glue gets into the threads and it just cinches it into the wood a little bit better. Again, yes, I know this is obsessing over a simple project, but, you know, take a couple extra minutes, a couple extra seconds of your time, and it'll make the overall project better in the end. And I think we can go ahead and fast forward through the placement of all the screws. If you know how to use a screwdriver, it's pretty simple. If you don't, I don't know why you're bothering to watch this video. Um, if you need an electric screwdriver for this, go ahead. If you happen to have one, I don't. All I have is a drill. And on this type of material, if I was to run these in with a drill or screw gun or something like that, I'd just end up cracking it anyhow. So... I'm just going to run these in by hand. You screw however you want to screw. And that's what it should look like at this point. In case I didn't show you, there actually are additional screws in the edges of the frame. I don't know if you can see it in here, but I did that as well. And the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put some handles on. Very simple. Got some old dowel rod here. Go ahead and put those on the side and screw those on in. This is going to make it so that it's going to be easier to hold when you're sifting and also that you can actually attach it with rope or some type of 550 cord or something like that to a tree branch or an A-frame or something. Uh, so you can just, you know, do the hands-free shaking if that's what your desire is. And you're going to see that these screws are way too long for this. Again, this is all reclaimed material. But, uh, you know, I'm working with what I have at the moment. And you can see, that's how I put that handle on there, very easy. And you can see where those screws stick through on the other side. Well, instead of looking for the right size screws, I'm just going to go ahead and cut these off. Because, again, this is all reclaimed material. And it's going to be a lot simpler for me to just go ahead and cut these off than to search the shop for the right size screws with the right thread coarseness for this project. Go ahead and just shave those off there real quick. Very simple. I guess using a grinder is a little bit of overkill for those two little screws. I should have just probably cut those off or whatever, but you get the idea. And there you go. That's all taken care of now. So there you go. That's what it looks like in the end. I got that other handle put on there. And that's our sifter classifier project. Again, very simple, very basic. But with a little couple extra touches there, makes it a little bit sturdier. It's going to make this project last hopefully a little bit longer, you know, since it's going to be drugged through the woods and possibly get wet in the creek or whatever. So thanks for joining me.